If you're new to the channel and you like what you see, well welcome to Life of Gaz. Now I try my best to upload a new video every single Wednesday and if you want to keep up to date with that make sure you hit the subscribe button and more importantly ring the bell to get all the notifications. Well hey guys, welcome to Life of Gaz. Unfortunately we're still in lockdown. We're in the fifth week now and that means that we haven't been out fishing and our restrictions are sort of still there. But I have got some footage of some sessions which are marks that really didn't live up to their name. So what I'm going to do is put those two together for you guys to see. Uh, one is down at Otter's Pool down in Liverpool and the other one is Ladies Bay down in Clevedon in the Bristol Channel. Two venues with fantastic reputations. But I've put these two guys together for you to just show you my experience of it. And I hope you guys have all been staying in, I hope you've all been staying safe and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Well welcome to Life of Gaz, I'm down here on the legendary Bristol channel and with me brother Char, that's him just there and we're going to go and have a look at this place. Now neither one of us have fished it so we've got a range of baits and a range of tactics and let's hopefully see some fish this morning. Well Ladies Bay in Clevedon, it wasn't only a bit of a drive to get there, it is also a bit of a trek through the woods and down the steps to get onto that beach. Now for rigs today I've got a pulley rig over here and that was going to be baited up with sort of some of the larger fish baits and then also a free up flapper rig as well. Now our char he had some clip down rigs with some small hooks and we were going to fish at a range of distances from really close in to as far as we could cast out to see what it was about. When it came to baits today, me and our char were fishing with squid, with prawn, also we have lugworm as well as some razor shell as well in the hope that we may be able to catch some of the legendary fish from this mark and we've heard of things like very big rays, we've heard of conger which had all been great to pull up as well as the huge amounts of cod which are down there as well. So then we stood there in anticipation of that first and formidable bite. Now we had to wait a while for our first bite, in fact we had to wait I think about an hour and a half before we had any movement on the rods at all. But with all the boulders down there we also straightened a few hooks out in the process. And then, after what felt like an age of waiting, I got my first bite in the Bristol Channel. Now I had to let this bite develop because it was only very subtle, it was very gentle and it took a little bit of time with a couple of little rattles before I was confident to strike into it. But I did and I managed to feel the weight of the first fish of the day. And there he is, my first ever Bristol Channel cod. He saved the blank and also he was the smallest cod I've had so far this year, including all the summer cod I've had as well. But for all be it said, this I was quite happy to catch because it was a very, very slow day. And there in the distance, the legendary Clevedon Pier. Now, when it comes to fishing this menu and why we decided on this one, was first, it was easy enough for us to get to from where we were staying. But secondly, we had a good few recommendations that it can produce fish. So no doubt, at some point in the future, I'm gonna head back down here and give it another go. But with that being said, 
Down here was full of tackle hungry boulders and I managed to snap two egg lumps off. Our char lost a couple as well. And it would give me a good uh, bit of practice for how to free weights off of rocks. And you can see what I'm doing is I'm walking up and down the beach, letting the line go slack and then trying to pull it. And more often than not, this will work as long as your weight's not wedged between two rocks and it's only wrapped around the one. So we fished it down with no success for about an hour before we packed up and went and had breakfast in a calf. Well that's it from us down here at the Bristol Channel. It didn't fish its head off. We had one tiny little robin cob between the two of us. So what I'm going to do is go back to Blackpool and see if I can catch some up there. So in this next venue we've gone to this really famous mark here, Otters Pool, Liverpool. Now this is a mark which is famous for chucking fish out and we thought we'd come and give it a go. Now for baits today I was making up some squid and worm wraps. Essentially it was a worm tipped off with quite a large bit of squid at the other end. Now this is thought to be quite a favourite bait over in this area from what I've heard and what I've been told. So I thought I'd give that a go. I also made up some other baits as well. Uh, I think I had some razor, some gaper, and um, just some straight worm baits as well. Now the tactic here for holding the bottom is to throw it out up the tide and then to let a big loop of line out. Now when you do this obviously it means that you've not got so much tension on the weight and it should hold. Now there is a big deep channel out here in front of us. I've never seen this at low tide but um, looking at some of the big boats going up and down it must be a fair size. Now fishing out here on the Mersey, the first thing about the venue that really caught my attention was how wide the actual river was. It's a massively wide river. I know we're in the estuary and in the mouth of the river, but uh, still absolutely huge to get across there. Now we got some great views uh, watching out over our rod tips, looking out over that rail and across the river itself with the sun going down. And it's just pleasant just to watch this happen throughout the evening. But also, it was a bit strange being the fact that we're sea fishing and it was absolutely flat calm in here. And um, even on flat calm days, there's still a bit of wave movement when you fish out on the beaches that I fish. Now, one of the things I noticed on one of the retrieves, uh, one of the earlier retrieves I had in the session, was the fact that I was pulling crabs in. Now this is quite strange for me because at the time of year it is, up in Blackpool, uh, even if I'm fishing say like Fleetwood Channel, um, you don't really get any crabs at this time of year, they just all sort of disappear, they don't come back in until about sort of um, about sort of April, May sort of time. But here in Mersey, I managed to pull one in. Fishing along this stretch of the wall today, there was about 20 odd people there. Now, the group of people fishing furthest up from us, they'd had a couple of flounder very early on before we got there, and no one else had really caught anything since then. But don't worry, Stuart done the business and managed to retrieve a cod from that uh, gully just out in front of him and lift it up over the wall for us to see there.
Now, unfortunately, in this session, the fish were eluding me, but I'd already had a crab. And then, coming up over the wall next is my next uh, bit of bycatch, which I'd had another invertebrate from the bottom of the sea. I ended up pulling an anemone over the wall. And then all of a sudden, I got a great big bang in a slack liner. So I ran over as quick as I could, picked it up, tried to catch up with the fish. And as much as I tried to catch up and as fast as I tried to retrieve it, unfortunately, that fish had gone. And there you can see those hooks coming up over the wall and you can see on that clip down panel rig that I was using that cod looks like he's hit it straight between the two hooks taking a little bit of bait out of the middle and then let go and I say cod for no other reason and that's the type of fish we were targeting today And unfortunately, that was about as exciting as the session got. Now, don't get me wrong, I definitely enjoyed coming out to a new venue. Even though I blanked, it didn't matter. It was great to see a different area of the world and see a different area of basically fishing for cod out here in the UK. But anyway, for now, what I'm gonna do is just take in a little bit of that scenery and then finish up. Well unfortunately that's it for this week's video and I hope you guys have enjoyed it but for now if you haven't already make sure you hit the subscribe button down here check out my latest video fishing video just there and of course my sea fishing playlist up top.